So the United States of America has hit another unbelievable milestone. Our national debt is now over $34 trillion. Take a look at our national debt clock. And you could see here right at the top left, 34 trillion, 2 billion, and it is climbing rapidly. But the most important part of this debt clock, and if you want to look at it yourself, you can. I will leave the link in the description below. You could check this thing out. It's wild. It's the largest budget items. This is the big thing. Our big budget item right now is Medicare and Medicaid. Social Security is the second biggest budget item, then defense spending. And then the fourth one is interest on debt. Now, this is the most important one. And you can see they even put a little hazard sign next to it. This is by far the fastest growing budget item out of the four. You could take a look at how fast each of them are growing. It is only a matter of time before interest on the debt is going to supersede defense and war spending. And then eventually it's going to supersede Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid. Mark my words, in just a short few years, and this is not one of those climate predictions that they're making. Oh, you know, in four years, we're going to see the ice caps melt away. In a short amount of time, you are going to see the interest on the debt begin to creep into the third position, the second position, and then eventually the first position. And when interest on your debt becomes the largest budget line item that a country has, you're basically on the verge of collapse. I mean, we're economy is essentially on the verge of collapse as things are, but we can hold it together because we are the only country on the planet that has the ability to print U.S. dollars. And U.S. dollars are still the world economic currency as it stands right now. We're seeing countries and organizations like China, BRICS coming together and trying to disturb that. As our government continues forward, spending unhinged amounts of money to people who are in their pockets because that's what they're doing. They're spreading the money to their friends. They are are destroying the United States of America. And this administration is destroying it faster than any other that we've seen. They're destroying our country on so many different fronts. It's like they're not even winning on any front. You know, okay, maybe the Biden administration is losing at the border. They're just doing a terrible job. But man, they're doing a great job with the budget. It's like, what is this administration doing good in anything? Vivek Ramaswamy just addressed this issue on Fox News. I really liked his answer. Check it out. If the interest payments on our national debt become the largest line item in our federal budget, we're in quicksand and I don't think we have a country left. I think it's going to take somebody with fresh legs and also a CEO in the White House. I'm working with zero-based budgeting. That's how I'm going to run the federal government. Hmm. Fire 75% of those federal bureaucrats within my first term. Right. Taking that anti-deep state America first agenda further than Donald Trump did. And I think if we don't do that in this next short window we have, I'm quite concerned we won't have the same country left. And so it's not about in my life. Sure, I could run for president in the future. I don't need to run for president at all. But I'm doing this out of my sense of duty to the country. And I don't think we're working with a lot of time left. And that's why I'm in this race. I like how he addresses it here. And I believe he's very serious. Now, I don't think that he's going to be able to do all of those cuts the way that he's saying. Obviously, he's going to have to work within the means of the power of the presidency, the executive branch. He's going to have to work with the Congress. He's probably going to have some issues with possibly a Democrat run portion. It could, we could see Senate House. We don't know. We got to see how the election plays out. So he's not going to be able to get everything he wants to get forward. But I do believe that he is going to want to absolutely chip away at this disastrous debt that we are seeing build up in the United States of America. I believe Trump wants to do the same thing. And there's multiple ways to do this, okay? It's not just about cutting things, right? A lot of times when people think about, oh, getting the debt in order, oh, you're just gonna be conservatively cutting things and you're gonna take money away from everyone. You can also combat this by stimulating our economy to the nines, meaning you take away ridiculous regulations that don't need to exist on corporations. You institute smart tax policies, not increasing IRS agents or something like this. There are ways to simplify the tax code to make sure that things are fair, that companies are paying their fair share, that the rich are paying their fair share, and that people who are on the lower ends of things are paying their fair share as well. That nobody's getting shafted in the system, but the government is receiving additional money because the economy is booming and the tax code works. But they don't wanna make the tax code work because 
there's so many people that are in the pockets of these Congress individuals. They love this broken tax code that we have. So fix that and then stop the ridiculous spending. Let's stop sending hundreds of billions, even trillions of dollars across seas to all of these different countries across the planet. Let's stop spending our money on ridiculous programs. Let's cut down the size of the government in a smart way. It can absolutely be done. And all of a sudden, that debt clock, if you do this the right way, you will see See those numbers slow and they'll increasingly slow and then eventually they'll turn around and we'll see the debt start to come down. Why can't we do this? Because our leaders are corrupt and they want to destroy this country and they do not care about the security of this country. Talk about impeaching somebody. Well, I think Joe Biden should be impeached because he has reduced the security of the United States of America down to nothing through all of these terrible policies on every single front, including this one, $34 trillion. Uh, four years ago, our country was $27 trillion in debt. In four short years, we have increased the debt by $7 trillion. This is crazy. This is not sustainable. Anyone who's lying to you, to your face, saying, oh, you know, it doesn't really matter. We could just do whatever we want. It's a lie, and we need to get it in order now before the entire thing collapses because that's what we're headed towards. What do you all think about this? Leave your comments below. I'll catch you on the next video.